and welcome to Ganesha's YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss that how we can find out the roots for biquadratic equation when you know biquadratic equation having degree 4 that means you will have 4 roots. So in this case the question is making it easier because 2 of the roots out of 4 roots are already given to you. So how you can find rest of the roots? Let's begin. Here you can see the question has given you a biquadratic equation having degree 4. You are already have these two zeros. So you need to find out two more zeros. So how you can do that? See, you know this x is equal to root 5 by 3 and x is equal to minus root 5 by 3 are your zeros given to you. That means it will create a scenario like x minus root 5 by 3 and x plus root 5 by 3 are your factors, right? That means if you multiply these two, then also it will make a factor. Because these two you have got from, from a quadratic equation, right? So, this is a minus b, a plus b, that means x square minus a square minus b square. So root 5 by 3 square is 5 by 3, right? Now, this is your divisor. This is your dividend. You know how to divide it. You will get two more roots from that, right? So this was the critical part which you need to understand. I hope you got it. Let's uh, extend it. So x square minus 5 by 3. And this is your dividend, 3x4, 6x cubed, minus 2x square, minus 10x, minus 5. So, you have x square, you need 3x raised to power 4. So, in order to make it this, you need 3x square, right? If you multiply this with this, 3 will be cancelled. So, minus 5x square, this is x cubed. So, minus 5x square, right? Minus plus. This is 6x cube. You cannot change its sign because it is not here. It is, uh, it is in the first step. So plus minus minus 5 minus 2 is 3x square minus 10x minus 5. Now you have x square. You need 6x, right? In order to make this 6x cube. If you multiply this with this, 3 times 2 is so, see, you have minus 5 by 3 and this is 6x, 3 times 2 is this, minus 10x. So, minus plus, this is cancelled, this is cancelled, what you got? 3x minus, 3x square minus 5. Now, you have x square, you need only 3, so 3x square. If you multiply this with this, minus 5 by 3 into 3, 3 will be cancelled and you will get minus 5. So, you have got 0. Obviously, you should have got this as 0. You must get it as 0 because you, this, this, is the, this is the form of factors, right? So, factors of equation should satisfy it. So, this should be 0. This must be 0. Now, you can write it as dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder, right? This is division, division algorithm. So, dividend is this for which you are finding the roots. Divisor is this. You have already got two roots from that. Now, the basic, the main point is this quotient form. 3x square plus 6x plus 3, alright? So, split this. You will get two more forms. So, this is all okay. You can take 3 common. What you have got? x square plus 2x plus 1. You know how to solve it, right? Yes, you do. See, um, this is the perfect square of x plus 1. But I am telling you how to split it. x square plus x plus x. You can split it as x plus x. So, you can take x common. You will get x plus 1. From here, you can get 1 common. Nothing is common, that means 1. You can take x plus 1 common, then x plus 1. So, your two roots are from here minus 1, from here minus 1. From this form, you have already got root 5 by 3 and minus root 5 by 3, right? Now, another two roots 
for this biquadratic equation, total four roots, right? Because degree is four, minus one, minus one. So root five by three, minus root five by three, minus one, and minus one. This is a complete set of solutions, okay? I hope you understand this. And if so, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.